So I haven't flown this spot in quite a while, actually. Um, in fact, this is interesting because these are some V1S props, probably mine from like a long time ago, from the last time I flew here, which I don't know how long ago that was. Anyways, I haven't really flown this spot in a while because there are so many other spots and I kind of forgot about this place. But criteria today is I just wanted somewhere where I could rip up really quick, get out of the car, fly some packs, and then get out with minimal effort because it's super hot and I'm going to do more stuff on the weekend. I just wanted to do a bit of quick practicing, get a little bit of a break, and I wanted to test something out. So I want to test out this whole idea of double little omni patches and see how that works. So my normal setup on my goggles is actually a long lollipop. So it goes over my brain so I can get video over my, you know, jello brain or whatever from all directions. So normally I run that and the little trusty True Air MX Air patch. Really good combo. I've been running this for ages. Works really well. So I decided I'd check this out just to see how it works for one because I'm curious but for two I like how compact it is so like you know you can take this guy and just chuck it in your bag that much easier without having to worry about antennas flopping everywhere and all that kind of stuff and maybe another benefit would be you're not going to get antennas changing direction and stuff as often also the less often you have to unscrew and re-screw your antennas on your goggles, the better, because the SMA connections have a finite amount of, like, cycles, or number of times they can be screwed and unscrewed, if that makes sense. So, with that agenda in mind, I'm going to fly this spot. And <laughs> this is a weird spot. It's a lot different. It feels way different than I last remember it. And this area next to me where I'm sitting stinks even more than last time. So, actually, I'm lucky there's a wind behind me. Cause got it. Smells really like. There's one cool thing about this place though, and that is that you get to fly into houses. How often do you get to fly into houses? The other benefit of that is it's going to let me test out the penetration on these guys. One of the challenges of flying a really tight spot like this is not outflying yourself, especially when you're doing like little acro moves and this and that, because it's super easy to just carry too much speed and then end up like heading towards a disaster zone at really high speed quite often you can like jink through it but when there's a lot of obstacles to go through sometimes you're not just sometimes you're just not going to win out man for you. I don't know what you're gonna find in a bando. No wonder it stinks, man. People come in here like, who would even do that? Why would you do that? Go figure. Good thing I didn't crash in that. Ah, oh, I can so... Uh, Alright, I think a little bit of a penetration test is in order. So I'm gonna try and see how many houses down the row I can fly through without losing video.
All right, so the answer is three. I can fly through three houses. The last house, I'm really starting to lose video, but you can kind of fly through it. You just couldn't fly hella proximity in it, I guess. That's not bad though, three houses. Not bad. So the video reception, I will say is not bad. I can't say it's better than my normal setup, but I can't say that it's worse. So far, working good. Um, one interesting thing, which may be psychological, but I have to mention it, it's that when, you, when you're wearing the goggles with just this amount of antenna on them, they feel a little lighter and compact somehow. I don't know, that shouldn't really be the case because those little antennas weigh like nothing, right? A few grams or something, but somehow you feel it. The goggles just feel more, they feel lighter and a little more compact on your face. It's bizarre, I was not expecting that effect. So in addition to being easier to store and bring out and set up and stuff, uh, they feel a little more comfortable somehow too, which is interesting very interesting it's like you're not as paranoid about oh you know you're not as conscious that you've got some stuff hanging out the front of your forehead and also you're not as worried about like oh is my patch centered or not or is my omni flopping or it's none of that it's interesting I wasn't totally expecting that because the weight of antennas is like nothing whoa birds <laughs>